Thank you, Club. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to start out with a poem about going to the Olympics. And this is called, Because I Can. Cepheus, Alpheus, Porteus, the Olympic motto. Faster, higher, stronger. When I was eight, I decided to go to the Olympics. Before I ever knew a single competitive sport. At nine, I started judo. Fighting local tournaments, boys and girls at life. I didn't want to always go to practice. But afterwards, I was always glad I went. At 12, I asked my coach, Do you think I can make it to the Olympics? He said, Yes, if you work hard enough. And I believed in the work ethic. I believed anything was possible with enough persistence. Anything that got in the way, I just overcame the resistance. I chose mere subsistence, and I went the distance. I took pictures from magazines and made collages for my bedroom wall. If you can dream it, you can do it. How far you go is up to you. You promised yourself you'd do something someday. And my favorite? What makes you think I play the piano with my fingers? The Olympics, our lifestyle, it was run with my dog before school in the morning, sell M&Ms in school classrooms to raise money for tournaments, come home from soccer practice and go to judo practice, drive 50 miles to work out in another state, lose 13 pounds in two days to make weight for a tournament, do a thousand push-ups one night just to see if it's possible. At a judo clinic, I learned affirmations. I'm a winner. So repeat this. I'm, I'm a winner. winner. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I'm tough. I'm, I'm tough. tough. I repeat this affirmation through all the stressful moments at life. Before the SATs in high school, before the junior national championships, running sprints on the college track. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I'm tough. I'm tough. When I saw my dog hit by a car, asking my boss for more vacation time, I'm a winner. I'm, I'm a winner. winner. I'm a champion. I'm, I'm a champion. champion. I'm tough. I'm, I'm tough. tough. At 16, I left home to train with the national judo team. Work, school, and judo, that was the way I lived. Behind the curtain, in the living room of, a, of an apartment was my place to stay. I paid my way through college working out four hours a day. When the poverty, discipline, and hard work got to be too much for me, I made myself a sign. Because I can, and I set it in stone because I meant it. Because I can win an Olympic gold medal, that's why I push. Because I can beat every woman in front of me. Because I can find a way to win out of nothing. Because I can take you out with some technique you've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis 37:19. Behold, this dreamer cometh. At 22, I have toured 17 foreign countries with the sport. I can recite 15 ways to win a match with the straight arm model. I can choke trip, pin, just about any woman my size. The black belt came years ago. It's a small matter of record. But what matters most to me is the chance at a medal. I train a solid year for the Olympic trials. A grant pays for morning judo workouts on top of the evening judo workouts before or after the sprints, along with the video watching, besides the mental training, and using the bicycling as transportation. The Olympic trials are close. Referees' decisions against a stylistically difficult opponent. It's my innovative, aggressive, impose my strength and will tactic versus a former world and Olympic medalist. 
it's my aggressive, dominating, pitbull judo versus her ducking dodge and run away. And I won because I believed in the work ethic. I believed anything was possible with enough persistence, anything that got in the way. I just overcame the resistance. I chose her subsistence, and I went the distance. All the way to Atlanta, where more happened than just a single bombing. It was first class every day with the U.S. Olympic Committee. A grocery cart full of bags, gear, clothes, uniforms, paraphernalia, pins, heat sensing palm print security systems. The athletes have their own booking system and tickets to events. Performances, shows, concerts every night at the Olympic Village, free McDonald's, but I am here to work. It's the focus I have on the dream that continues, the belief that I can win it all. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I'm tough. I'm tough. I believe it so much. I have to come up with a new affirmation before tournament. I want it. I want it. It's mine. It's, it's mine. mine. I'm now. I'm now. 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 Right here in the present moment, standing with my coach, waiting to fight. 3,000 people in the stands. Atlanta 1996 banners flying. I want it. I, I want, want it. it. It's mine. It's, it's mine. mine. I'm now. I'm now. We fight a tough match, but I lose in the end. I qualify for another round. Crowd chanting, USA, go ahead. USA! 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 USA. But the Russian gets me in an arm lock. I finished 13th for the tournament. I cried to my mother until 3 in the morning. I didn't win a medal. And no one even knows what judo is. It takes me years to recognize the success in my accomplishments, but I believe anything was possible with enough persistence, anything that got in the way. I just overcame the resistance. I chose mere subsistence, and I went the distance. Everything else that happens for the next 12 years, recovery from mental illness, earning a master's degree, being homeless, Married and divorced, three career changes, and making a lot of friends. Everything is impacted by my commitment to my dreams. Because I can. And what makes you think I play the piano with my fingers? All right, that's the key. Awesome. You don't have